Mr. Butler Bone here. How are you all doing today? Right, today's lesson on the old string cigar box guitar is a classic, brilliant, lovely, cracking song by Dr. Hook. If not you. Cracking song, cracking song. Um, it's quite an easy one to do. Um, there's not too many chords. It's D, E minor, A and a G. So it's only four chords. You can play it with one finger, possibly. Um, most of the chords are, are either one finger chords. Um, there may be the old E minor, which might be a bit, but you could play the E instead. We we'll give it a whirl. Um, don't forget, guys, please subscribe. Press the link down below. Lots more coming up. Right, what I'll do is I'll run through a verse and a chorus, and then we can start breaking it down. <coughs> it starts in the D. Oh, I've got a little bit of reverb, and as you can hear, I've got a little bit of chorus on the old Vox Mini 5. This gives it a nice little twinkle to the song. And I'm doing a little bit of picking. Not straight strum, just a bit. Fill the song. Who's gonna water my plants? Who's gonna patch my pants? Who's gonna give me the chance? Cracking song, cracking song, Dr. Hook, if not you. And as you saw there, what I was doing, um, I was picking some strings and emphasizing this top one again, what I normally do. Just, so lift your finger off and put it back on again. But pick the odd string. If you can't do that, obviously just strum away. It works both ways, it works both ways. <laughs> so the chords you need are D, which is the first chord. Now D, I was playing the lower register, which is top string, second fret, bottom string, second fret, middle string, open. E minor, which I again play in the lower register, which is top string, fourth, second string, mid, uh, second fret, and the bottom string, open. G, of course, is lovely, it's open string. A is second fret all strings. Now they actually play an A7, but don't forget we are playing with a scar box so we can get away with just the A. So we need to play A. And that's all the chords you need. Now if you wanted to play um, in the higher register, then obviously you'd be down on the seventh fret for the D. And if you can't play the E minor, then just go up two frets to the ninth for the E. And the A you drop down to the second fret. And the G, of course, would be open. So what we do is we we'll run for a verse together and a chorus together, and then we we'll come to a close up. So it starts in the D, and what I'll do is I'll try and do it in the one fingers. I'll do one verse with one finger um, playing, and one verse with obviously the lower register. What I normally do. So it starts in the D. So I'll start down here on the seventh fret, and just to make it easier. For you guys, I'll just strum it, but you know, you get the gist of the just picking. D. Who's gonna water on my plants and up to the E? Da, da, that's my A. So you can do it, so it's back to D. A, D, D, G. To the A. No, Richter. G to the A to the 
I forgot to say, there is actually a B in, in this song, which I didn't say earlier. Um, but again, if you were playing it on guitar, you'd play a B minor, but we can get away with the one finger B on the fourth fret. So the B is one finger, all, all the strings on the fourth fret. So we'll go for it one more time. Starting on the seventh, if you're in the lower, higher register. D to the E to the A. that again, it's like a double verse. D to the E or E minor to the A to the D to the G to the A. That's the two verses. And the chorus is G to the E to the A to the D to the B from the G It's quite simple, isn't it? Really, quite a simple song, but a lovely little song. And if you, when you go out gigging, if you've got a little chorus pedal, obviously put chorus on your amp. And if you've got a, a voice pedal where you can actually do harmonising, you know, when it comes to the chorus, click the old foot switch and you get harmonies on your voice. It sounds lovely. Um, what I do is I come to a close up and I'll show you those chord sequences. So here we are at a close up. So as I say, the D, if you're going to play it in the lower register, is up the top here, so it's second fret. Top string, second fret, bottom string, middle string open. Of course, we're in open G. Um, the E minor, if you're going to play it down here, is fourth top string, second middle string, bottom one open. Or alternative, if you can't play that, you can only play one finger, then the ninth fret for the E. And if you wanted to play the D, it'd be the seventh fret. Uh, the G, of course, is all open. And the B minor, or the B, because we're playing on a three string, is on the fourth fret, all strings. If you wanted to bring the minor in, just stretch a little pinky down here to the seventh fret. I give you a minor. Um, so, anyway, we'll go for it. So we're starting the D. To the E. G to the A. Now I'll go into the high register. D to the E to the A. From the D to the G to the A. And the chorus is open G. G to the A to the D. To the B, G, to the A, to the D, it, it repeats this twice, G, to the A, to the D, to the B, G, to the A, to the D, and then you go back to it. Simple, isn't it really? So you you can play it with one finger if you can only play one finger, and of course you could obviously obviously virtually play it with a slide um, if you're doing it with one finger, because um, actually they have I think in the song they got a um, a pedal still which gives it a nice lift. So you could actually introduce a little bit of slide into it. It'd be quite nice. Um, okay, I'm gonna sit back down. So there we go. 
If Not You by Dr. Hook. Simple, easy, little song. Don't forget, as I say, if you can't do the finger picking, then obviously just slowly strum up and down strokes. If you can do the finger picking, it does give a little bit of a lift. <laughs> It's a little bit of a lift, but if you can't do that, then you know, just strum away. Cracking song. Um, okay, that's it for me. Don't forget, please subscribe. Press the link down below. Um, as you can see in the background, Christmas, so it's Christmas time. So happy Christmas all, and uh, I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now, Mike the Bone. Ciao. Mm -hmm.